I'd like to think camper vans first became a thing because of the many nights partying that left drivers sleeping in the back. If you ask any of my southern bred uncle cousins, they'll tell you stories that hint at that very truth. I'm Reacher. Whether it's fact or not, there's a market stretching back around 70 years. So to carry the torch a bit longer, in this video we're bringing you 10 camper vans to check out in 2020. Number 10. Expanding on the existing jumper biker solution, Citroen added a new model to the line offering more room and versatility. The new biker solution Multi measures just under 20 feet long and 6.5 feet wide, differing from its predecessor by utilizing a flat loading floor which allows the van to hold cargo as large as an ATV. Behind the cab area is a small counter with a flush mounted sink, mini fridge, and a removable dining table. Like the others on this list, the Multi also serves as a camper, having room to sleep up to four people using the bed in the pop-up roof and a fold-down bed in the back of the van. There's also a large awning for those times when lounging around outside is a must. Number 9 the large white logo on the side of this one stands out, hinting to everyone that there's more to it than the plain black exterior would have you believe. Inside is a small kitchenette next to the sliding door which allows it to be used both inside and outside. Across from this is a fully enclosed wet bath with a fold down sink. The back of the van has twin beds on each side that can be joined, creating a larger sleeping area. Underneath is a storage area that can be increased via the fold up headboards. The 19.5 foot Yukon 6.0 and its sister 7.0 lounge model are the first camper vans from German based Francia. They're well known for their motorhomes, so it stands to reason that they'll make a mark in this corner of the industry as well. Number 8 Another one that made an appearance at Caravan Salon 2019 is the Volkswagen California 6.1 Beach. It measures just over 16 feet from bumper to bumper. A large sliding door opens to reveal a kitchenette with a dual burner cooktop, sink, and a 42 liter cooler. A removable table can be attached to the side of the counter to serve as a dining area. The pop-up roof houses a bed which can be shut off from the rest of the van using a sliding panel in the ceiling. This, along with the bench seat in the rear that converts to another bed, provides room to sleep four people. Number 7 Although it can function as a camper, the Track of Burrow Camp ORP isn't your typical camper van, instead having a setup geared towards special purpose vehicles. Sliding doors on both sides provide access to an interior sporting a cabinet stretching the width of the doorway. This can be used for multiple purposes, serving as a vendor style sales counter as well as a meeting space using the folding table. Dual side awnings provide protection from the elements, allowing the work to be taken outside if needed. The kitchenette flanks the floor space, having a sink on one side and a microwave sitting above a mini fridge on the other. Taking up the rear of the van is a bed that can be folded away to open up the back for extra storage. Number 8 Number 6 This list wouldn't be complete without at least one camper van from Winnebago. Built on a Mercedes chassis, the 23-foot Bolt is one of the newest models the company has to offer for the coming year. 
taking up the rear of the van as a wet bath spanning the width of the vehicle. A sliding door separates this from the twin beds found directly to the front of it. A flex bed system utilizing a frame series of slats slides out to connect the two, creating a single queen size bed. Forward of this, on the driver's side, is the kitchenette having an induction cooker, a flush mounted sink, a microwave, and a mini fridge. Not only is the Bolt an all weather vehicle, it utilizes the Pure 3 Advanced Energy System, which provides 11.6 kilowatt hours of electrical power. These two features guarantee that no matter the destination, you'll be comfortable during and after the ride. Number 5 Detlef's Globevan e-Hybrid was first introduced to the public at Caravan Salon 2019, creating quite a stir as it's the company's first camper van as well as a hybrid. Although compact, the 16-foot layout provides everything you'd expect, having a small kitchenette with a glass-covered stainless steel sink and dual burner cooker next to a 16-liter cooler. Next to this is a bench seat that folds down into a twin-size sleeper. This provides room to sleep up to four people using the twin bed and the pop top as well. Power on this one comes from a 13.6 kilowatt hour battery coupled with a 1 liter EcoBoost generator that allows for a maximum range around 310 miles. For maximum efficiency, there are four driving modes allowing the driver their choice of which power source to use. Charging time on this one is 3 hours on a fast charge and just 5.5 hours on a standard wall socket. Number 4 Located in Willoughby, Ohio is Advanced RV, a company that offers upgrades to existing vehicles along with custom-built camper vans. Built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis measuring almost 23 feet long, the silver paint scheme is a misleading contrast to the bright colors found throughout the interior. Upon entering, the first thing that pops out is the contrast of the lime green against the original black decor. The cab of the vehicle offers a roomier feel due to the inclusion of a large touchscreen integrated into the dashboard. Directly behind this is the side entrance which has the microwave and a 6.8 cubic foot fridge freezer directly opposite. A centrally located wet bath with a stainless steel accented sink is located across from an extra long stainless steel countertop and sink that includes a folding slide out extension. The rear of the van houses the lounge area which has an electric sofa that converts to a sleeper. Supplementing the six-cylinder turbo diesel is an 800 amp-hour battery bank for those off-grid moments. Number 3 The second entry from Australian-based Traca, the Torino 4S, is their most compact camper van. Built around the Fiat Ducato XLWB, this 21-footer still has plenty of space for all the needed amenities. Starting in the back, there's a fold-down double bed running in an east-to-west configuration. When it's raised, it provides an extra lounge area that can be used as an alternative dining space. Directly in front of this is the galley having an induction cooker and a flush mounted sink. Sitting opposite is a microwave mounted above a mini fridge while next to that is a fully enclosed wet bath with an electrically controlled retractable toilet. The front has seating for four using the rotating captain's chairs and the bench seating. A removable table allows for this space to be used as a dinette as well. Hanging around outside becomes easier thanks to the remote controlled electric awning and the table that can be mounted on the side of the van. Number 2 Offering the quality one would expect from German based Knauss, the BoxLife 630ME is an upgrade built around a 21 foot long Fiat Ducato chassis. Located directly behind the cab is the dinette, which has an adjustable extending table. Moving back finds a centrally placed wet bath with a rotating toilet and fold-down sink. 
The shower is unique, located in the middle of the floor and utilizing a sliding door to curtain it off from the living space. Across from this is the kitchen, having a flush-mounted cooker and sink, multiple drawers for storage underneath, and a 90-liter fridge freezer with a chilling drawer below. The rear of the van houses the main sleeping area. An upper, almost queen-size bed can be lowered as needed, while below is a king-size bed. The rear beds are versatile, with the lower one being able to be stowed away to create space for two bicycles, as well as converting to extra seating in the form of a couch. Number one. You might call it a concept, but the company built a prototype, so there's that designation. Feel free to debate that one in the comments as you see fit. When Heimer designed the Vision Venture, they chose to forego the standard conversion kit, instead building on a heavily modified Mercedes Sprinter. The rear houses a lounge area that has twin couches on each side, flanking a dining table that folds down and lowers telescopically, then retracts under the seat to offer a clear floor space between. This area can be expanded and open to the elements by raising the large panoramic window and lowering the gate to create a small terrace. A small slide-out electric grill is hidden away underneath the sofa, complementing the outdoor element. Forward of this is a transforming bathroom that utilizes an expanding wall and a sliding partition that keeps the shower separate from the vanity and toilet. Directly across is a centrally located kitchen with a flush-mounted induction cooktop, a large basin-style sink that has a faucet coming out of the wall, and a refrigerator drawer underneath. Next to this is a staircase mounted to the sidewall that leads to a loft area created by the pop-top roof. The roof of the pop top is covered in solar panels, taking care of the electrical needs along with any off-grid moments. Another small but handy feature is the inclusion of a workstation behind the passenger seat that includes a fold-down desk and built-in LED lighting. Citing this one as a study in design, the company has stated that some of the features in the Vision Venture will find their way into future production vehicles. Alright folks, there's a few camper vans to get the coming year started. If you have a favorite or any you think should have made the list, feel free to let us know in the comments. 